Shalom. Kohalayla Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity. Risking their lives and freedom to do so. Pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. And double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you in another lesson. A good man leaveth an inheritance. <clears throat> so I want to go into this inheritance. Which starts with a gift that can only come from above. Our Heavenly Father, I'm going to go here first to the book of Sirach. <clears throat> book of Sirach, chapter 11. Let's go to verse 22. <clears throat> the book of Sirach, chapter 11. Let's go to verse 20. Be steadfast in thy covenant and be conversant therein and wax old. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Be steadfast in thy covenant, and be conversant therein, and wax old in thy work. So part of the inheritance is following the ways of our forefathers, being steadfast and keeping the ways of the Most High. Let's go to verse 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. So this reminds me of, <coughs> we'll go ahead and get it. <coughs> Let's go here to the book of, I think it's Revelation 3. Revelation 3. Let's go to 2 and 10. We're in Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So those outside of the covenant, starting with the rebels of the house of Israel, followed by the wicked. So this message is to the elect of these churches. <coughs> so the gift of this wisdom is what makes us wealthy because this starts the inheritance the wisdom of the mysteries of the kingdom. <clears throat> See, let's go real quick. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So the gift starts with the anointing oil or the Holy Spirit from on high, which gives us faith, understanding, knowledge of the scriptures to be able to interpret them, and the wisdom or the insights to the mystery of the kingdom. So the gift starts with the Holy Spirit that gives us understanding of all things as it pertains to the doctrine. <coughs> See, let's go back. Sirach 11, verse 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. I know thy poverty, but thou art rich. The gift of the Holy Spirit is the golden goose that continues to lay golden nuggets. 
verse 22. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly. And suddenly he maketh his blessing to flourish. So the gift of the Holy Spirit starts to walk along the straight and narrow path to enter into the kingdom through the straight and narrow gate. <clears throat> See, let's go to Isaiah 65. So the godly have the gift of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Elect. Isaiah 65. Let's go to verse 22 first. <clears throat> Isaiah 65, let's go to 23. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. So the elect are going to flourish and be built up that are going to share in the spoils, the inheritance with Yahushai, a good man that leaveth an inheritance to his children. <clears throat> it's Isaiah 65 and 8. <clears throat> We're Isaiah chapter 65, verse 8. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. So the elect are blessed with an essence of the Most High, his spirit. I will pour my spirit upon them. So this is what preserves the Lord's chosen anointed ones. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. And my elect shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell there. So everything starts with Yahawashai, Judah, the scepter not departing out of Judah, which starts with Yahawashai, that's occupying the throne of David which have 12,000 governors out of each of the 12 tribes under Yahawashai and King David. <clears throat> so the Lord has already pre-established reserve seats of those that are already ordained to be leaders in the kingdom to come and to inherit or be able to partake in this new kingdom that's going to be established on earth. <clears throat> Let's go to Acts 2. <clears throat> well, before we go there, let's go to John 14. <clears throat> John 14 and 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And this is Jehovah Shai speaking. Do what he says do. <clears throat> Which starts with preaching the gospel. Prophesying. Verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. See? So that's the gift from above that cannot be destroyed forever, which offers instruction, insight, guidance, protection. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. <clears throat> See, the Father is sending this gift down to those of the choice vine, nobles. See, let's go here real quick. Proverbs 13 and 22. <clears throat> Proverbs 13, verse 21. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. 
inheriting the Lord's new righteous kingdom and being preserved from the judgments coming upon the earth. Verse 22, a good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. So all the riches gotten by deceit, injuries and riches gotten by deceit is all being laid up for the Lord's elect. In that movie, Leave the World Behind, the ending scene, really that young lady represents the elect. My servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servant shall be satisfied but ye shall dry up of thirst. I'm paraphrasing. So when you look at the end of that movie and leave the world behind, the young lady represents the elect. <clears throat> so the elect men are going to be kings, co-heirs with Yahawashai. This is why Yahawashai is called the king of kings. So he's over all the kings of the earth. Proverbs, Proverbs 13 and 22. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. See? <laughs> so the elect is going to inherit the high places of the earth. Streets paved with gold. The buildings built up with the precious rare earth metals and precious stones and jewels. Sapphire, ruby, onyx, you name it. So the earth is going to be so magnificent and beautiful, we cannot even describe it in words. Even if the Most High gave us a vision to see it. Let's go here real quick. <clears throat> Just like what happened to Paul. See? Paul's vision. 2 Corinthians 12 and 1. It is not expedient for me, doubtless to glory, I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Hamashiach, above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth such as one caught up to the third heaven. So, yeah, um, Paul was literally put to death, <clears throat> but was raised up through the spirit of the Lord. He was stoned to death. <clears throat> And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. So it was so majestic, magnificent, indescribable of the paradise to come on earth as it is in heaven, indescribable in layman's terms, cannot be uttered in words. That's how great this inheritance is going to be, sharing with Yahawashai. <clears throat> Let's go to Sirach. I think it's 11, Sirach 11 and 22. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly. And suddenly he maketh the blessing to flourish. Say not what profit is there of my service and what good things shall I have hereafter. So we're not laboring in vain. The Most High is not unrighteous to forget the diligent works of the sincere. <clears throat> oh, here. 
Let's go to back to John. <clears throat> Let's go to 26. John 14 and 25. Let's go to 24. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the fathers which sent me. See, so this is coming from above. And the word is nested with the spirit. So the spirit is within the chosen that are able to navigate through these scriptures and un understand them. <clears throat> Let's go to verse 26. 25, these things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. <laughs> so this all things... The Holy Spirit is helping us to interpret the doctrine and the dark parables, the dark sayings, shrouded in prophecy. <clears throat> Which comes from our Heavenly Father. So let's go to James 1 and 16. Do not... Error, my beloved brethren, whenever we hear beloved, that's a indication that this is to the elect, <clears throat> beloved of the Most High. James 1 and 16, do not err, my beloved brethren, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. See? So we just read that, what Yahweh Shai was talking about, coming from the Most High, the Father of spirits. <laughs> John 14 and 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So what was past and present and future prophecy, the elect can understand it, which includes the digital age, the see here and end of days prophecies or eschatology as they call it. <clears throat> James 1 and 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning of his own will begot he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. So the Lord is gathering the first fruits, the first spirits created by Yahushai, the lights of the world, the Illuminati, if you will, the illuminated ones. I think it's Hebrews 6 and 4 or 4 and 6. <clears throat> One moment. Right. Hebrews 6 and 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. So these are the new illuminated ones or Illuminati 
coming under the crown of Yahweh Shai, sitting on the throne of David. Let's look up enlightened. <coughs> Excuse me. Illuminati is bearers or holders of the light. Enlightened. Brighten. Bright with knowledge, if you will. He shines bright with wisdom. Illuminated right here. See? Illuminate. To give light to shine. So the Lord is going to cause the elect to shine. Instruct. Teach. Give understanding. And to enlighten imbue with knowledge to bring light that's the Holy Spirit so the elect have the Holy Spirit <clears throat> which is the gift the treasure starts with the wisdom Hebrews 6 and 4 <clears throat> for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. The new age of Jacob, the new world to come, a new eon. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves, the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shade. <clears throat> so the elect are going to be able to repent <clears throat> and turn from darkness and enter into the marvelous light, following after the ways and manners of our master, Yahweh, <clears throat> the greater light that created the lesser lights of his church elect. Let's close out here. <clears throat> See, the promise of that seed of Jacob that we read in Isaiah 65 and 8 starts with those that have received this anointing from on high. Right here, <clears throat> Acts 2 and 33. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted. Let's go to verse 32. <clears throat> this this Yahweh Shai have God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses, doing the teaching, serving him. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he have shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. So the evidence of things not seen are being made manifest through the gift of the Holy Spirit, interpreting the doctrine. For David is not ascended into the heaven, but he saith himself, the Lord saith unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. <clears throat> so there, this is a message to those that are getting ready to get the victory. That are already showing forth the fruits of being able to be gathered at the end of the world or the harvest. So the elect is demonstrating the fruits of knowledge and the fruits of the spirit, essentially. So everything comes from that heavenly gift of the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the spirit, which is partly manifested in teaching, not only teaching, interpreting, prophesying, and living by what we teach. <clears throat> Read this again. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes 
thy footstool, inheriting the kingdom under the tabernacle of David. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Yahweh Shai, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Hamashiach. So we got the victory through him. Verse 37. And when they heard this, they were pricked in their spirit and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So that is the golden ticket, the golden key to enter into the kingdom of rest. Starting with the understanding. So this is an initiation, a ritual or initiation to be a part of the Illuminati, if you will, of Jacob to come. For the promise is unto you and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And all, all, all ties back to Proverbs 13 and 22. This promise that was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is being gifted to and elect. Proverbs 13 and 22. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. So a part of that gift is the gift of faith. Like Abraham had. Isaac. Jacob. So not only does the inheritance come with occupying the kingdom, but it comes with the gift of prudence, diligence, patience, faith, temperance. These are all embedded within wisdom. See, let's go to James 1. <clears throat> See, James 1 and 2. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. So I had a vision of wisdom. That I almost drowned out. But wisdom was teaching me to be patient. So I took hold of wisdom, which was in the vision as a woman. <clears throat> and who is this to? The elect of the 12 tribes scattered abroad that Peter spoke about in 1 Peter Chapter 1, verse 1. See, James 1 and 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord, Yahawashai, Amashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. Goes back to Isaiah 65 and 8. <laughs> so the elect are going to be preserved. Some of the elect are going to become martyrs or transition to the spirit world only to be the first that are going to rise up to meet Yahawashai in the sky. But there is no destroying of the Lord's elect. Lively stones, precious jewels that are shining forth or being brightened with this wisdom. 
and they're going to shine more and more as we get closer to the establishment of Yahweh Shai's kingdom of righteousness. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying our praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Kwankadash, Shabbat Shalom. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yashwala and the Bad Babal. We got next, Lord.